All right, FRQ number five of the um, uh, 2024 AP Physics 1 free response questions. As usual, if I have any mistakes, I will put it as a pinned comment. So at time zero, block A slides along the horizontal surface towards block B, which is initially at rest, as shown in figure one. The masses of block A and B are six kilogram and two kilogram respectively. The blocks collide elastically at one second. As a result, the magnitude of the change in kinetic energy is nine joules. Of block B is nine joules, all frictional forces. Determine the speed of block B immediately after the collision. Okay, so collisions, momentum is conserved. So let's see, initially at rest. Um, okay, so this guy's going with the, oh okay well they actually just want to talk about this guy so we don't know how fast this guy is going so we could do conservation momentum but they just talk about the we're gaining kinetic energy so the change in energy for this guy is the final energy minus the initial energy and that's one half mvf squared uh for block b minus one half mv zero squared uh so block b is initially at rest and so this is one half times two times VF squared. And that change in energy is uh, nine joules. So you just solve for VF, you get three meters per second, right? Okay, interesting. Um, on the graph, that represents positions block A, block B in the center mass of the two block systems between zero and one second. Uh, here's block B, here's the center mass, here's block A. Okay, on the graph, draw and label three lines that represent positions of block A, block B in the center mass of the two block system. Uh, as functions of t between one and two seconds, each line should be distinctly labeled. Okay, so block B, his center of mass is, oh, his is his location. So he's gonna now move. So this is position versus time. That means the slope equals the velocity, right? So, so the slope is the velocity. So we now know he's going at three meters per second afterwards. So his center of mass is now gonna have a slope of three. So every one second, he's gonna go up three. So he's going to go up to there. So this is block B. This is B. We'll use a different color for block A. Um, well, the center of mass is just going to continue on on a straight line here. Uh, looks like has a slope of uh, goes over 1, goes up 1.5, so about there. Because the in the collision, the center of mass doesn't change, right? So this is the center of mass because there's no external forces acting on the center of mass. So there's no acceleration on this. The, the, the collision's entirely internal to the system. So the center of mass is not going to change. And then um, what about block A? Well, he is going to, um, because of this, um, I would maybe calculate it. And honestly, just to figure out how fast he's going and how fast he's going afterwards, you could try to eyeball it. Um, you could say it's zero and then here, so you could kind of figure out like, well, okay, so yeah, one way to think about it is, well, the center of mass is, you know, the center of mass equation is, is the mass of each object. It's like two times mass of A plus, sorry, two times the location of A plus six times the location of B. Wait, do I have that backwards? Oh, A is the bigger one. is equal to the total mass divided by eight. So it's like, um, this is like one quarter. So you can think of like, well, it's gotta be one quarter of the height. So you could just draw a point here. You could say like, well, he's five. Here is at, uh, this is like 0.5, um, then two, then this is like 3.5. So then this has gotta be like, this amount's gotta be three times this this amount. That, that's one way to do it. I don't know, like if, if, you, if you're like looking for a fast way to do it, um, you could do the actual full calculations for the momentum, but hopefully like what I explained to you kind of makes sense in terms of like conservation of momentum in the center of mass. So, um, you know, let's just, uh, you know, like let's, uh, why don't I, from a teaching point of view, let's go ahead and figure out what the, uh, center of mass, what the velocity of, of block A is before the collision and what his velocity is after the collision. And then we can use that to calculate the slope. That would be one way to like sort of prove that out to you. And you have time for this. This is a 13 minute question and like you haven't done so much too much so far. So I would say the initial momentum um, of the system is going to be, um, because we know it's going at, um, we know the slope is uh, 1.5. It's 1.5 times the total total mass of the system and then that's equal to uh, block, mass of block B six times, sorry, mass of block B is two. 
it's two times their velocity, which is three, plus the momentum, sorry, now I'm doing the final momentum. Final momentum is two times three plus six times the velocity of A, right? And so this is six plus six VA, that has to equal um, 12. So then the VA you get is uh, one meters per second. So that means he's gonna go over one and up one. So he's gonna be like right around there. And we'll draw a line like that. And that is going to be for A. So hopefully that makes sense to here. This distance here is 0.5. This distance here is, um, what is it? 1.5, three times as much. Hmm, should be maybe a little bit. Maybe I didn't have that. Let me see, let me just think about this. This is 0.5 goes over one, up 1 1.5, over one, 3.5. 3.5 to three is 0. 0.5, and then 3.5 to five is 2.5, no. Uh, I don't know, I think I did the math correctly. I, I Let me double check it real quick. I think my numbers are right. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think I think I have calculated everything that correctly there. Um, considering the original scenario, instead of colliding elastically, the blocks collided and stuck together. Uh, describe how the line drawn for the center mass would change, and it would be not change because the collision is an internal force. for the system of two blocks. So there would be no change here. No change because the uh, collision is the internal for the system of two blocks, which implies there's no external change in momentum for the center of mass. 